Medusa! And thanks for buying my DVD! You know, they told me when you make a DVD, you're supposed to have what they call bonus material. And I thought, oh my God, what am I going to show people? Then I remembered all the stuff that my assistant Kiki shot on the tour. And I thought, hey, how about a personal home movie? But some of it's kind of shocking, so I hope you're ready. <laughs> Oh, even though the tour was officially starting in Asia, we did a secret appearance in Long Beach, which is in California, which is a stupid name for a city because aren't all beaches long? And then I did this thing that I really love to do. I sent my assistant Kiki out into the crowd with the camera and asked her to ask people what they thought of me. That guy's hot. We are the Medusa! You bet you do. 25 bucks a ticket, you do! Medusa rules! Oh, that blonde so wants to be me! Yeah, Medusa rules! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> she taught me to wear my underwear in public. I'm gonna kick her out of bed. Hey, hey, that's my accountant! What's he doing there? People always say I look like her, I get it all the time! Yeah, right, bitch. <laughs> Paula Abdul came to my show! Medusa rules! Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Oh! And even though it was a secret, all kinds of celebrities came to my show. There's Marky Mark's limo. Oh, you know, the whole cast of Full House is in that limo. Whitney Houston, before she went insane. Oh, there's Debbie Gibson's Pinto. There's my limo. That's right. I had a special white limo. It's more expensive. But you know what? I'm having sex with the chauffeur, the driver. <laughs> there's my hand. Hi. Took a little break to wave, just so you know it's me. <laughs> Oh, because, you know, I get really nervous, I did all my pre-show rituals, like flossing my teeth, really good. Like, extra floss. Oh, sorry, Kiki. <laughs> Blow drying my soft spot, because, you know, mine never really closed up. And I always make sure and practice with any microphone-shaped object before the show. And I made sure and shave, because sometimes when I'm under stress, I grow a beard. Isn't that weird? I heard that Oprah does that too. Maybe it's just something about, you know, having millions and millions of dollars. I don't know. But that night the show was fantastic. Everybody loved me. Except for this one nun who complained and said it was really offensive. And I said, oh, I'm really sorry, sister. Bite me. <laughs> she didn't like that at all. Then after a great show, it was off to Asia. We landed at the Imelda Marcos Airport, which is really cool, you know, that they named it airport after someone who collects shoes. <laughs> My fans were so super excited to see me, and, you know, I felt bad because I should have been more excited to see them, but I was overwhelmed by the smell of fish. Because, I don't know, fish is really big in Asia. The rehearsals were so good. I mean, check out my dancing right here. Unbelievable. I mean, you can tell that I've had like 12 years of dance training. And watch this. Okay, check it out, check it out. T total recovery from falling. That is the sign of a true professional. Yeah, I am such a good dancer. But for some reason during the show, I started making all kinds of mistakes. It was so embarrassing. It was just like so pathetic. This is supposed to be a really hot, hot number. I don't know what happened. That, that's not hot. No one's turned on by that. I'm sorry. I mean, I did not know what was wrong with me. Yeah, electrocuted. I'm usually so on top of it. I didn't feel I was giving the people a good show and then I realized what was wrong. After three whole days of no sex, I was just really horny. So I tried calling my boyfriend Wallace in America and he wouldn't come over. Well, okay, fine. If you won't come, well, I'm just gonna have sex with, with somebody. It'll be all your fault. I even called my ex-husband and tried to turn him on and seduce him with my acting. Why are you grabbing your crotch? Didn't work. I mean, I must have sucked a, a truckload of watermelons. Did nothing for me. I was going out of my mind. Finally, Kiki suggested a day of sightseeing somewhere in Asia. Oh, there I am with, a, with an Asian hat. That's what that is. And she uh, had me try this Asian delicacy called Kung Fu. It means duck testicles. I know they say you're supposed to try something once, but once is enough for duck testicles. I, 
I can still remember what it tastes like. Like, I, I don't know. It's like rubber tire or something. I don't know. After four days without sex, I was feeling really unattractive. So I tried putting on some makeup. And you know, it's really hard. It's like coloring. Like you have to stay in the lines. I have to say, it's a job that's really best left to professionals. So I kept sightseeing to keep my mind off sex. And, you know, my feet were really dirty, so I, I walked in one of their sacred waterfalls. People didn't like that. I reenacted an ancient Japanese ritual called Harry Carry. <laughs> but, you know, even trying to kill myself, I only had one thing on my mind. Finally, I realized it was time to break out all the stops. I was going to use my secret weapon, dancing. Sure enough, one cute guy really noticed me. <laughs> His wife noticed me, too. <laughs> and I offered to rent her husband because, you know, 10 minutes would have done the trick, I think. She was not having any of it. He wants me, you can tell. I even offered myself to random tourists, you know. I, I showed them my butt. They just were not interested. I, I, I don't know what was going on. Finally, I got so desperate, I even hit on an old man who turned out to be just a lifelike statue. But I kept on dancing. So I did what every desperately horny person does. I ate a whole bag of cookies by myself. And then I realized the answer was right in front of me. Kiki. Not only was she a great assistant, but she was hot. <laughs> so my trip to Asia turned out so much better than I thought. And I have to tell you, if you can't get laid, well, just keep dancing. So thanks for buying my DVD. None of the proceeds of this DVD are going to go to charity. They're all going to me. Ha!